Buhari Senei Hai said the announcement of the monthly amount of 500 million naira was part of the decision of the State Executive Council on Wednesday. If you recall, a few weeks ago, the governor met with the NLC Adosa chapter. Now, that meeting, the governor announced that the uh, Adosa government will allocate 500 million monthly to service the hospitalities for the poor, or the, or the poor, or the poorest. You know, or the poor, the poorest of the poor. He said the state government is committed to policies that will alleviate the plights of families who are living below the poverty line in the state. Mr. Naikae said the social registration exercise conducted between 2019 and 2021 will be revalidated across the 18 local government areas to facilitate the smooth disbursement of the monthly stipend of 20,000 naira through residency cards. While doing this revalidation, we are going to go around with uh, mem uh, the government people who do NIN and then we will piggyback on them with uh, a dusted residency card. And so that while we capture them, we will provide each of these families to the households with residency cards. We have over 314,000 households that fall, at the date of 2019, that fall within that, uh, that uh, bandwidth. He also disclosed that 1,500 vigilantes are currently undergoing security training with a view to enhance the protection of lives and property in the state. Our additional is 1,500 vigilantes are taking, getting training at the Ogida Barracks, which we recall that was the refurbished and rebuilt by the state government we to provide this kind of thing. They have been trained in uh, not only in how to detect and handle criminals, but how to communicate with uh, the general public. And then, of course, uh, ESCO deliberated on the on the issue of the deputy governor, which is a topical issue right now, condemned it and we are saddened by the way the events have turned. We are surprised and shocked at the, the way the deputy governor has uh, behaved and was strongly condemned by everybody in this world. Deborah Ogbefun, ITV News.